Once upon a time. Isn't that what all the great narrators say? Great. Once upon a time, in this really enormous place called Russia, which was cold a lot, but actually very beautiful, there lived this czar. In Russia, czar is like a king. Are we all on the same page? Great. And this czar's name was Nicholas II. And this czar, who was really nice once you got to know him, had a queen whose name was Alexandra. Oh, she was very beautiful. All right, so the royal couple had three children, the handsome, daring, and brave Prince Alexei. The pain in the royal neck, but basically all right, Princess Titania, and the youngest, Princess Anastasia. Sweet kid, huh? Yes, I know. Anyway, this family all lived happily in this fantastic house, which was called the Imperial Castle of Moscow. C great name, huh? Well, it was a great place too, let me tell you. But that was a long time ago, before the time of marching boots. You know, the big revolution, before the last winter, when everything changed for us, forever. Here, Anastasia, quickly! But Papa, don't leave me behind! Please, Papa, I beg you! Don't leave me behind! It's too late! Run! Run! Mama? Papa? But that last cold winter, which felt like the end, actually led to a new beginning many years later. Is she up there? Goofinoff! Here, pretty little raven birdie, come to Dadams, you sweet little black birdie of death. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> sweet birdie? Goofinoff, where's the girl? Well, Master Grey, Master Grey Man, sir, all my sources point to this abandoned ruin. Sir, Grey Man, sir, is that what we're calling you these days? Grey Man? Ooh, that's good. Spooky. No, right. Bright days are done. There's a season we'll soon behold when we'll all laugh in the sun. Though we danced and sang through the night, now those nights are none. Soon there'll come a new morning light. We'll sing and dance in the sun. Though the fates have torn us apart And we don't know how or when With the dawn I know in my heart We'll be together again I've known you a life and a day But we've just begun Come with me, I'll show Sun will soon live free in the sun. <laughs> better, getting better all the time. Little braggy in spots, but much improved. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're getting better. It was her, old syrupy strings over there. She's always dragging the tempo. To play music is to live. To live is to suffer. 
To play music, then, is to suffer. What is she talking about? To suffer is to suffer. To know you is suffering enough, pizzicato breath. Can it, Windbox? You, of course, were sheer perfection, Anastasia. Yes, but such a sad song. I'm feeling sad a lot lately. I don't know why. <laughs> of you behave yourselves. We're a proper quartet, not some common street band. Try to act a little more orchestral. Oh, poor Tuba. That's the first real laugh I've had in so long. Happy to help out. I love you all so much. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, here's hoping you never have to find out. <laughs> Now you hush there. We love you too, Anastasia. Nothing will ever change that. But one day you may have to go on without us. No, never. Never say never, my dear. Just know that should that day ever come, you will be fine on your own if you just remember who you are. But that's just it, dear Harp. I feel as though I've no idea who I am. You are Anastasia. Yes, but... Who exactly is that? My memories are faded and so confusing. The memories are still there, my dear. They will show themselves clearly to you when your heart is ready. You must learn to listen to the voice inside you that knows who you truly are. But it is so difficult to trust that voice. To truly learn what lies within you, sometimes you must leave all that is familiar behind you. Secret police! Quickly! Come along now, come along! Did you hear that, Master? Voices, footsteps! That's gotta be her, you hear me? Gotta be her, gotta be her! Right! Me? Oops, sorry. Got carried away. Open in the name of the Cheka. Yeah, the Cheka. This is no neighborhood watch. This is no welcome wagon. This is no pizza man. This is no. No! Right. They found us. What do we do? What do we do? Calm yourself. What can I do? I'm just a cello. What can any of us instruments do? Me too. Be still and listen, Anastasia. You will know what to do. Poops, get them all. Yeah, what he said, you nincompoops. Ooh. Right, I'm the nincompoop. I'm coming to get you. I got snow in my strings, like the insidious frost that invades all our lives. Foiled them! I knew we would. Excellent Anastasia! <laughs> <laughs> We're the 
escaped. Oh, we're free. Right. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Where are we? And what does the secret police want with us? Not us, Anastasia. You. Me? But what do I have that could possibly be of any use to the bad Cheka? All I have is all of you. Never mind that now. The point is, we cannot ever go back. Never go back? But Harp, how can I... Which means only that you must go forward. Come, time is wasting. Getting your big wheezy head off my bow. Oh, that's pithy. Ha <laughs> ha. You vex me, squeeze toy. Deal with it, Bubble Bottom. Quiet, both of you. We're traveling incognito, so keep your voices down from now on. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. Is incognito the new word for traveling illegally without a ticket? What's troubling you, dear? <laughs> I'll never see my room again. My home. It's the only place I've ever known. There, there. It's not as bad as it seems. What has happened, Mother Harp? Where are we going? What is to become of us? <laughs> don't cry. For pity's sake, please, don't cry. That's it, I'm coming out. Oh! <laughs> Except that I'm stuck. Drat. Uh, excuse me. A little help out there? Of course. Wait. Who are you? I? I am General Vladimir Vasilyanov Ikonovich, at your service. Oh! Probably should wait until I'm outside the trunk to stand and salute. I remember an Ikonovich. Nice lad, but a bit untrustworthy as a soldier. This could be the man. He seems perfectly harmless to me. A general? In the dreaded steamer trunk army? In the Tsar's imperial forces, if you must know. Long since... ...retired. I see. Well, General, now that you're free, you may go about your business, protecting Mother Russia from revolutionary luggage. <laughs> you have the wit of a young Queen Alexandra, and yet... I beg your pardon? Forgive me. Have we met before? You seem so familiar. I... That isn't possible. Are you so certain? Perhaps at the Tsar's ball, or at one of his formal dinners. Stop that. I beg your pardon. I did not mean to offend Miss... Anastasia. What? <laughs> Oh, you're good. You're good. What are you saying? You even happen to look a little like she would have looked, if she was still <laughs> about. What who would have looked like? <laughs> Crafty. Good. I like that. I suppose you don't know there was a princess, Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov, the Tsar's youngest daughter, long since presumed dead. Well, I've... And I suppose you're further unaware that 10 million pounds sterling the entire Romanov fortune lie in a bank in Copenhagen awaiting her return if rumors prove true that she is alive. A fortune? No, I... Ten million? I thought more. And I suppose you are blissfully ignorant of the fact that a veritable army of young girls have stepped forward attempting to claim the boodle. And none have managed to pass themselves off as a princess. You claim to know nothing of this? I know nothing of this, sir. Hmm, I see. Well, you have the wit to be the princess. None of the regal bearing, of course. I beg your pardon? But with my help, guidance, and expertise, I just might be able to pass you off as Anastasia. But I am Anastasia. Yes. You keep on telling yourself that. What a major loser! He is shifty, he is rude. Shh! I like that new man. Shh! Shh! Shh. Listen to me. Listen to me. You want to know who you are? Yes. Oh, yes, very much. Then here's the deal, Princess. 
I take you to Copenhagen, put you up in a nice hotel, pay for your meals, clothes, everything, and train you in the ways of royalty. You convince everyone you're the real Anastasia, and we split the Romanov fortune. And to show you what a generous guy I am, I'll only take 60%. 10%. 50. 50. Come on, it's a spec deal. 40%. Tell you what, split the difference, 20%. Deal! Hey! Who the... What the... I throw my voice. <laughs> it's just a little talent I have. To say nothing of your negotiating skills. Let's just hope that you're as adept at impersonating a princess. So why is a former general of the Tsar's army hiding in a steamer trunk on a train? Why is a former princess traveling alone on a train, crying and obviously in hiding? If only those were questions I could answer. Well, as it happens, I have been looking for the Princess Anastasia. Well, as it happens, so have I. What a happy coincidence. Perhaps we've found her. Tickets? The conductor. Where is your ticket? I haven't got one. Where's yours? Oh, for pity's sake. Tickets? What are you doing? Come on, jump. It's the only way. Wait! My instruments! Your what? My instruments! I never travel anywhere without them! Well, just how many instruments are we talking about here? Tickets? No way. Uh-uh. Not doing it. You know, some girls just carry a lucky charm bracelet around <laughs> with them wherever they go. Our first step will be to fool the gaggle of Russian emigres, dukes, counts, and everyone else under the sun who flock to Copenhagen, hoping for a return of the Romanovs. Ha! <laughs> they want a princess? We'll give them a princess. They shouldn't be too difficult to fool. It's Grandmama, the Dowager Empress to you. That'll be the tough nut. She's a stone, that one, and rules the social circles here with a fist of iron. We have to convince her. All else is lost. Dowager Empress. I remember when she came to my birthday party. Yeah, 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 kid. That's a good angle. Keep that. It's no angle, Ikonovich. I am the princess. You're starting to bring it all back for me. Call me Vladimir. All right. Vladimir. These blasted instruments, why must you carry them with you wherever you go? They were given to me by my parents. It's all I have left of them. Careful, young man, or I'll have you fired. Come on, then, and there'll be a healthy tip in it for you. You would have been better off if your parents had left you something useful. Like stock certificates, gold, jewelry, a couple of Fabergé eggs. Now you just try and get some sleep or something. We'll begin your lessons this evening. Vladimir, thank you. Woohoo! Copenhagen! Copenhagen! Oh, Happy oh, days are here again! Copenhagen! I've wanted to come here for the longest time! <laughs> You're welcome. I love this city. It's so beautiful. And it's so good not to be frozen. Children, please. Who's hungry? Room, Room service. service. Now, children, behave. You are right. Perhaps we should starve. Hello, room service? That's not what I... Don't forget the beet borscht. Honestly. We want some caviar, uh, not that orange stuff, but the real expensive red kind. On little toasty wedges. Yum. Ha <laughs> ha. Moderation. Moderation, everyone. And we'll have some smoked salmon, braised duck. Oh, and how many kinds of blini do you have? Vodka. You're too young. And don't forget the borscht. And don't forget the borscht. Anastasia, you want anything?
You can say that again. You eat more than the Russian army, and I should know. I can explain. Well, actually, I can't explain. No need. I've been hungry before. After the revolution, I had nothing. Nothing. But that was then, and this is now. And right now, you are going to learn to become a princess. The very first thing you must learn is how to hold your head. I intend to hold it on top of my neck. Yes, quite funny. But becoming a princess takes more than a clever way with a punchline. Posture straight, gut in a bit, chest out a bit, now grin a bit, stick out that noble chin a bit, now that's a bit too far. Curtsy thus to duchesses and dukes and earls as much as is expected of the lady that you are. Call the royals who reign above you, ladyship and lord, they love you, but don't speak till they address you first. When you're called your royal highness, stand up straight and show no shyness, and they may ignore you too rehearsed. Now you. Stomach out, chest in, and pout, now grin, and bow down low. And if I'm feeling shy, speak first, then cry. My dear, we've got a million miles to go. Oh, no. Oh, she drives me slowly crazy. Oh, he's such a boy. Things are looking sweetly hazy, cause I like her more and more. What an awful lot to know. But you know all you ought to know. Cause frankly for me not to know would mean our certain fall. But you've every royal trait to be. I admit I just can't wait to be a, a princess. What am I doing? What are what we... Are we... <clears throat> yes, quite. I think you'll do just fine. Him? No. No. Remember the money. Just another desperate attempt to get it a Roman our fortune. We've seen it all before. Of course, she's not a princess. But we haven't seen her yet. Irrelevant. The old Duke is blowing more air than you, dear. Pompous windbag never could stand the man. Let's just see if I can provide some moral support. When you curtsy to the Duke, allow him to... Take my hand and kiss it, yes. And keep my chin high, but not as high as a queen. I know. What if they don't believe me? But they will. And you? Do you believe I'm a princess? Oh, what's the matter with you? You look great. You look like... Like 10 million pounds sterling? Come, foolish girl. My friends, I am glad you could all be here to welcome our very special guest. She's been through unspeakable hardships and perils, not only escaping from our lost Russia, but surviving on her own all these intervening years. But now I entreat you to welcome to Copenhagen the Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna, last surviving heir of the Romanovs. of the Romanov fortune. I... I wish to thank you all for being here. Especially you, Duke Rzinski, for your charming hospitality. Don't try to curry favor with me, imposter. Any street urchin can be dressed up to look fancy and taught a lot of pretty words and ancient history. I had hoped for better of you, Ekonovich, but I should have known you are not above such flummery. This girl is a sham. Your Excellency, you haven't even given her a chance. Tuba, what am I to do? Stand firm, Anastasia. Remember who you are. I am 
son, Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna, to Brzezinski, whether you choose to acknowledge that fact or not. And may I candidly observe, Your Excellency, that you bear the same ill-mannered disposition today that you did at my fifth birthday party in the Imperial Castle when you refused to participate in my candle lighting ceremony and instead snuck off to the servants' quarters in order to drink half a case of my father's best vodka. I... I... well... anybody could have known about that. I mean... no, it isn't true. I mean... Oh, to the devil with you all! <laughs> Your Majesty. I can almost smell that money now. Anastasia is strong. She has royalty in her blood, my dear. It's so fantastically great! Yes, so surely we can expect catastrophe at any moment. She's like a fairy tale princess. If only there were a prince. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. A prince! Prince Look! Oh dear, am I late again? It's become something of a chronic problem. Where is my royal assistant, Goofinoff? Is Goofinoff goofing off again? Will Birdie want a soda cracker? Yum, yum! Who's he? Prince Paul. Friend to the birds. Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna, I have heard so much about you. You are more beautiful now than I could ever have imagined. Your Highness. Prince Paul, hmm. I seem to recall him, although it's been so many years. Seems a sturdy enough lad. He is the one ray of sunshine in her otherwise hopeless existence. He's certainly romantic, if a bit too perfect to be believed. What a wuss! I forgot to curtsy, Your Highness. Yes, but you remembered to bring my heart. Lucky you. Indeed. It has been lost for so long. Right. Prince, Princess, Princess, Prince. Now that we're all through with the introductions, it's time to mop up here and cash in the little lady's inheritance. Of course, Vladimir Vasilyanov. But that decision is not mine to make, nor is it yours. Of course, the Dowager Empress. Of course. But neither of you need to worry. I'll gladly give you an introduction to Grandmama, along with my highest recommendation. Of course. <laughs>
Is this going to work, Greyman? Can you really get the old Dowager Empress to agree to me with the Lost Princess? Or is this going to be another public relations disaster like last time? Ooh! Right. You've been with him day and night for a week. And what would you have me do? I'm the princess. He's the prince. Isn't this the way you wanted it? But yes, I, I mean, no, I, I mean, I don't know what I mean. But what can you see in that oil slick? This General Ikonovich is becoming a major pain. It's time we do something about him. You're just... just... jealous. Jealous? Me? Of him? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Duchemoy. Don't cry. Nothing I do seems to please him. He doesn't care for me, only for the money he thinks I might make for him. Why can't he be more like Prince Paul? Gentle, brave, and kind. Sometimes, just like you, there is more to a man's heart than what appears on the surface. You need to give it time. I know Prince Paul's heart. He's the one getting me an audience with the Dowager Empress. He's the one who truly cares about me. The only one I trust. Silly, shallow girl. Ah, what do I care? Something I can do for you, gentlemen? But the General should be here. I can't face the Empress without him. Of course you can. You don't need Ikonovich. After all, he's not the princess. You are. Yes, but he didn't come back to the hotel last night. Probably met up with some old friends. No, it's not like him to... I'll be there. You'll be perfect. Trust me. just pop in to introduce you. Then, it's your big moment. I'm so scared. Nothing to fear. You are Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov, youngest daughter of Tsar Nicholas II. You're right. You're on. Come closer, child. <laughs> well, you are very pretty. years. You've hardly changed. Now it all comes back to me. Here now, I have not given you leave to be so familiar. Forgive me, Grandmama. I... How dare you address me like that? Impudent! Presumptuous! Where did Ikonovich find you? In a tavern? On the street? In the gutter? He dressed you up, gave you words to parrot, and dares to parade you in front of me as my granddaughter? Come, child, have you no pat answer already, wit? My son, the Tsar, and his entire family perished during the revolution. There has only been a whisper that Anastasia survived. The memories that you dishonor with this charade are a great personal tragedy. Forgive me, Your Highness, if I have lost sight of the fact that you consider that tragedy more yours than mine. I know that you consider it an opportunity to collect a sizable inheritance. I don't care about the money. Aha! But you're aware of it. It's not why I've come. I'll give the money away. Yes, but unfortunately, you cannot give it away until you have it, and you cannot have it without my approval. So we'll never know. You cannot be so heartless. My heart has been broken in pieces. The pieces carried away by a trail of charlatans exactly like yourself. If I am heartless, you are blameless only in that you have arrived 
too late to take any more of my heart from me. Why have you come, if not for the money? So that I could be in a room with you again and feel what I felt when I was just a small little girl. To see myself in your eyes and be reminded once and for all who I truly am. I need you. I need you to believe. You are a very talented actress, mademoiselle. My compliments to your employer. But the Romanovs are dead. No matter what you say, what you do, or how you look, I will never believe otherwise. As a child, I cherished your visits to our family, as any child looks forward to a special treat or a new toy. But now I see that you are nothing but a scared old woman. You won't believe because your heart is closed so tightly that you can't feel. Oh dear. That didn't go at all well, did it? Do not make light of it, Paul. This is not easy for me either. Though the winter grows bitter cold And bright days are done Then the season will soon be hold When we'll all no, laugh in it cannot the be. sun Though we danced and sang through the night Catchy tune. I've never heard it before. Because I've never sung it to anyone but Anastasia. This cannot be. It must not. I order you to stop. Though the fates have torn us apart, and we don't know how or when, with the dawn I Anastasia, it is you. Yes, Grandmama, I've come back. I dared not even hope. It's her. It's really, really her. Yes, it is. And you two can finally be married. Married? Married. You were engaged when you were two years old. Though I can guess you don't remember. I suppose love conquers everything, wouldn't you say, darling? Married? Are you crazy? Well, he asked. Well, that doesn't mean you have to say yes. What do you know about him, except that he's a prince? What more do I need to know? He's a prince. I'm a princess. You've taken this whole princess thing too far. I didn't hear any objections when I was winning you my inheritance. It's not about the inheritance. Oh no? Since when? I don't have to take this from you. I've been completely honorable and upfront with you from the beginning. Now you start acting all high and mighty. Just remember, I was the one who found you in that baggage car. Maybe you should have just left me there. I'm beginning to wish I had. Don't play the martyr with me, Vladimir Vasilyanov, because in spite of your bandages, you've never done anything for anyone but yourself. Ungrateful girl! Heartless mercenary! Who does he think he is? I'm a princess. Anastasia, it's not like you to speak this way. She's royalty now. Yes, and I'm having dinner with the prince. If you'll all excuse me. Oh, dear. We've created a monster. Speaking of monsters... Where's Alexei? Room service is nice, but I like going right to the source.
What's she doing with that royal pain? And it has how many rooms, did you say? 1,250. That's not including the stable quarters with 200 separate rooms for each of your new white Arabian stallions. <sighs> it all sounds so charming. Well, after all you've been through, my darling, you deserve no less. Oh, Paul, I don't remember you being this generous and kind as a child. Well, people change, your highness. People change. Do not move. Do not think to move. No, of course not. Here, take my wallet. It's yours. We want the girl. Huh? Don't resist, Anastasia. Occupational hazard. I'll come and rescue you when the moment is right. Yes, he'll rescue you. Paul! Oh, oh, don't just let them take me! Oh, help me! Hang on, Anastasia, I'm coming! I'm coming, I'll save you! Oh. Be right with you! I quit. What are you going to do with me? Do you know who I am? Ooh, ooh, I know this one. I know this one. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Ooh. Right? Paul, make them let me go. Paul? Paul? Do you see any Paul here? <laughs> That's a good one, Chief. A good one. Sorry, no Prince Paul here. But... But you... Are a colonel in the Cheka. An imposter. A fake prince. The real Prince Paul was taken care of years ago in anticipation of this very day. Isn't it ironic? No one. Not even the Dowager Empress would believe you were the real princess, and I got them all to believe I am the real prince! <laughs> if you want the picture of a charming prince, I take the cake. But now you find me all the more alarming since I'm charming as a rattlesnake. My debonair and dazzling personality was like a dream. But now that you're awake, the harsh reality is things aren't always what they seem. Taken in by my dashing grin, you have failed to note the pointy teeth. I'm no fraud, but beneath this warm facade, I'm Prince Charmless underneath. Just look at what a perfect little royal pair we're gonna make, cause everyone is absolutely unaware we two are both completely fake. You've been grand for the plots I've planned, and my gratitude's profound and large. Now's the time for the world to know that I'm hardly harmless, ill-equipped, or armless. No, I'm Prince Charmless, and I'm in charge. I almost had you in Russia. Now I have finally caught up. And soon Ikonovich will be in my grasp, too. He won't come. Oh, yes, he will come for you. Can I use the heat on the chief? Can I? Can I? Can I? No! <laughs> right. This is not good. Definitely not good. She's been what? When? How? What, what about the police? What has happened to Anastasia? She's been kidnapped, but that's... Well, do something. You are the police. After all, if... You're a harp. 
Uh, not you. I I'll call you back. Harps can't talk. But of course you can, dear man. So can I. A tuba? Do not forget me. It's the shock of losing two million pounds. I I'm hallucinating. Hardly. Now, how are we going to get Anastasia back? Maybe I'll take a nice lie down. I must have been hit harder on the head last night than I thought. Look, I don't know where she is. I don't care where she is. And stop talking to me. You're instruments for crying out loud. What do you mean, you don't care? I don't care. I don't care. What's wrong? Those strings clogging up your ears? Get that Prince Paul to help you. I'm sure he cares. I'm just in it for the money. That's all it's ever been. That's all? Absolutely. I'm no fool. She's a princess. I'm a nobody. She has Paul. Why would she want me? Where have you been, young man? My God. Now the accordion's talking. <gasps> Paul has Anastasia. What? Where? When? What for? <laughs> Could you let me catch my breath for a second? I'm sorry. He's Cheka! Cheka! What do you mean? He's a prince. Wrong again, soldier boy. I followed the kidnappers. Paul's really an agent of the revolution. He's no prince. I never trusted him. You and me both. And me. And now he's got Anastasia. And he also wants you. Well, he's going to get more than he bargained for. Me, you, and the rest of you talking instrument things against the secret police force of the revolution. Come on, all of you. We've got to save Anastasia. Wait, I thought you said you only cared about the money. Well, who said I didn't? Now let's go. So you mean to tell me you made me carry you all the way from Moscow to Copenhagen and you instruments can walk? All right. Everyone have the plan? Right. 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 Correct. Then it's time for a little recital. Who's that? What are you doing here? Stop that noise, or I'll shoot! Noise? Noise! Why, you tin-eared idiot! Watch it! This guy has a hard head! And no appreciation for the arts! Shall we? I've got to get up those stairs. Think you can cover me? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Well, of course we can. Then let's do it. What? What is... Get them! Get them! You've got? Ha! Do something! Come on, you guys! They're just instruments! No ear for music, poor soul. Oh, oh, thanks! Don't mention it! Anastasia, I found you! Oh, Vladimir Vasilyanov, my general. I've been such a fool. I don't care about the money, only you. I've been such a fool. I've loved you from the start. I've, I've been, been so blind. blind. You, you first. first. I love you. And I love you. I always have. How very touching. Because I have nothing but contempt for you both. I wanted to take you back to Russia alive so you could be hanged in your homeland. But alas, there's no time for such sentimentality. You won't have Anastasia. You won't have her. And what do you think you can possibly do about it? This! I wish I could, but I... Vladimir! No! All right, everyone. 
Work together. Find something of him and grab hold. <gasps> the instruments. Thank you, dear friend. Not yet. Anastasia. Please. No, don't talk. I must. I must tell you. It was not the money. It was you. Don't go, Vladimir. Don't go. Please. What will I do without you? You will be her Imperial Highness. Anastasia. We must tell her. But that will mean... It is time. He's dying. I'm going to lose him, and with him, my heart. You love him that much? I love him more than my own life. Then we can save him, for love that strong goes beyond life, beyond death, beyond everything. You can save him? How can that be? With faith and love, nothing is impossible. Have you ever wondered who we were, Anastasia? I always thought you were my guardian angels. In a way we are, but we're more than that. Don't tell her. We'll have to go if you tell her. Alexei, hush. We are your family, Anastasia. I was your mother, Alexandra. Your brother, Alexei. Your sister, Titania. And your father, Tsar Nicholas II. Last Tsar of all the Russias. But why didn't you tell me before? If we did, we'd have to go onwards. That's the rule. But you've told me now. And now I will lose you all over again. And Vladimir, too. No. Our going opens a way for the General's return. But you must sing to him, from your soul to his. Sing to him, my darling. Distance can keep us apart. I'll keep believing no matter how far you'll be with me in my heart. The wall seems lost as night descends. Goodbye, my dear. Always remember you are a princess and I'll always love you. We love you, Tazi. You're the greatest, kid. Don't be afraid, my child. We shall always be with you. Anastasia. Vladimir. I had the strangest dream. So did I, my darling. So did I. We shall always be with you in your heart. And so, General Vladimir Vasilyanov Ikonovich and Her Imperial Highness, Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov, lived happily ever after. And how many accordions do you know who can say that? <laughs>